great. The slide was so much fun. I think I'm gonna go down a second time. Actually, we ran into these lovely ladies who wanted to take a picture. Hello. Say hi. Hello. <laughs> Salvadorians are so nice. It's awesome. Did you get another ticket? Let's go. Let's do this. You don't love me, leave me. Told my jeweler one time, free me. Put some diamonds where my heart used to be. Racks on racks is all I ever need. day one in El Salvador and we checked into our beautiful Airbnb and then 10 minutes later the power cut so we're just here it's really hot the AC has stopped obviously I can't charge my phone we're trying to stay positive you know um, before we go look at how beautiful it is out here It makes it hard to complain, right? Eso solo la Eso queda cerca. Sí, pero queremos ir a comer y vamos para el slide y no cuando está lloviendo. <laughs> y después a rompear. Huh? Y después a rompear. ¿Qué es eso? Es. Ir a bailar, pues. Bailar. Sí. No, déjame aquí, yo voy con Ángel. Ángel, ven, búscame. Está cobrando mucho. That's not funny. No está trabajando. Really? All of Denny's again. Barbecue pinchos. Sí, 
not the uh, Waco course. Okay. Okay. We decided to stop off at the Walmart because it started raining. But uh, yeah. Trying to hide because it's really awkward like recording and walking, especially when you're speaking English in a foreign country where they speak. cobra caro por día si sí, si sí, yo lo buscaba ayer porque yo tenía eh, reservation para el día eh, el día pero yo pensaba que era la piso el once we are trying to learn from our first day's experience so we actually decided to come back to the airport and get a car rental we did have a reservation when we first got here but i don't know something happened and it was canceled so here we are, we're picking up a vehicle and I am buying a SIM card so that I can use my phone and not have to worry about finding Wi-Fi. It's gonna make things so much more simple. Like our list of things to do here is so long and things are so stretched out across the country. Like nothing's close and we're already spending so much money in transportation. So this is gonna make our lives a lot easier and more flexible. This is my uh, cute little outfit for today. All right, time to pay my portion of the rental. <laughs> so we got the car. Look at my VIP driver. She, where are we going? El Tunco, Playa Zonte. Oh. Let me stop forgetting these <laughs> Oh, is that Coco on the side of the yeah. road? Yeah, you want some? CA2 toward Carretera Puerto La Libertad, CA4.
Pacha. This is day three in El Salvador. We're getting an early start today because we're going to be driving to Santa Ana to do the um, volcano hike. But I wanted to show you guys the sunrise from my bedroom. It's just before 6 a.m. I wish I would have woken up just a little bit earlier because I missed it. But there is going to be a lot of beautiful scenery in today's agenda. I am pretty sure of it. So we just pulled up to the base of the Santa Ana volcano. I have like definitely not the most comfortable shoes, but we're gonna hope for the best. People look so prepared out here. Let me show you. We got like walking sticks and hiking sticks and hiking gear and real good shoes. Well, not them, but you know. All right, so this is the grouse grind of El Salvador. The current time is 9.15. Let's see how long it takes me to get to the top. Not the best shoes for this. We've got the Converse on, but you know, we're gonna survive. So we had to go down first. To be honest, I wasn't listening to the instructions, so I'm not exactly sure what's happening, but we've been going downhill for probably about half an hour now. So uh, that first part that we passed is one of the highest or the hardest part from here. There are around two kilometers. Perfect. And the trail is like a six, a little bit easier. Awesome. And the last part is just volcanic rock trail. There are no vegetation. Oh, good. Yeah. We're gonna survive. We're gonna make it. Did you hear that? Vamos, vamos. Recomendable que lo dejas. Estamos cerquita. No, todavía falta. How much further? So like my... <laughs> Diana, wave! Thank 
Made it to the top. Oh, yep, yep, they did. They did. Oh, they did. They did. You know, everywhere I go, they didn't have a find the one, Colombians. But I heard that too. Yeah, they say it's for the expensive, but for the experience, mm -hmm. right? Right. But right. yeah, the, two, two weeks ago, Beautiful. Mm -hmm. I had a plan to go. To Definitely Paris, worth it. Uh, um, turns out the way down is the exact same path as her. the way up. Oh, so, you <laughs> know, we came here. Pray for us. Okay. Um, we have to go back down. I really don't know why I put myself through this level of torture again and again and again. I am pretty sure we started at 9.15 a.m. The current time is 2 p.m. Oh my god. And this is not our last excursion for today. All right, so we made it and we actually found an easier way back to the parking lot and you know we're taking it. So there's an option for about 75 cents. You can take a shuttle back to where we parked the vehicle. And here it is. Can your compañera give me her sweater? Oh, sorry. It was so much fun. I think I'm gonna go down a second time. Actually, we ran into these lovely ladies who wanted to take a picture. Hello. Say hi. <laughs> Salvadorians are so nice. It's awesome. Did you get another ticket? Let's go. Let's do this. So, if you recall, 
I think what that thing, I am definitely scared of heights. So I have my liquid courage and I'm about to get strapped up for my zip lining experience. construction worker and these to make it official. I put myself through that but I'm I'm proud of myself I am I'm happy I did it I survived got in from a very long but super fun day we did the slide at the picnic steakhouse we drove out to casa or cafe albania we did zip lining we did the bicycle uh, zip lining as well it was really really so much fun but we have not been out at night because we've been sleeping early because we get our days started so early so Tonight is our first night out on the town. We are going to La Zona Rosa, which was recommended to us by our Airbnb host. So yeah, I'll take lots of videos if I can. Just keeping it very simple tonight, a cute dress. Um, honestly, I don't do heels, especially not in foreign countries. So do you see them little things, them little flip flops? Yeah, those. Uh, that's what I'll be wearing tonight. Talk about timing though. This is crazy. We're still going. Day five in El Salvador, we are going waterfall chasing. We found a really cool looking um, cascada in La Libertad. So we're just driving out, it's about a 50 minute drive. And then from there, we'll be checking out a different beach from the ones we checked out on the first day. So I think we went to El Tunco and El Zonte. And um, yeah, they were absolutely like a bust. So, 
we've been hearing from a lot of people to try Costa del Sol, which is closer. So that's what's on the agenda for today. And welcome to driving on a weekday in Del Salvador. I really just wanted people to see how much this looks like Vancouver. It's just a little bit unreal. Let's go straight actually. <laughs> and uh, these guys are in the way. Hi. They mm. all smell horrible. Honestly, it's not okay. How many people have been staring at us throughout the day? No, like give an estimate. Do we look crazy, crazy some type of way? I'm so confused. It's kind of getting annoying. So for anybody on my feed who's a Salvadorian, hit me up and let me know what's good because I felt completely accepted in Colombia and something weird is happening here.
Okay. Well, the, uh, the study of town is very different today. Five years ago, this area was the most dangerous area in El Salvador. So, what happened? We had a mayor called Nayib Bukele. Uh, nowadays, he's the president of El Salvador. But in that day, when he was the mayor, it started the remodelation about the study downtown. Believe it or not, this area is a remodelated area. I just know how to party. So? Yeah. Donde esta? Ah, welcome uh, Rosario Shores. This is the last one in Latin America. It's completely modern art. Wait, wait. I know outside you look very ugly, right? But inside is beautiful. All right, so to get into the Rosario Church, we had to pay uh, two American dollars for a pass and then we had to purchase a mask. Good thing I'm dressed appropriately because there was definitely a dress code. Anyways, uh, we're going inside. I can't wait to show you what it looks like. Actually, I can't wait to see what it looks like, but stay tuned. is very different only for one reason. The principal reason is because the engineer that made the planes is a sculptor, plastic artist, engineer, and architect. Rubén Martinez Bulnes designed this church. And you know, grew up with tra the traditional construction, right? About the Catholic construction. And Ruben is alive today. He's 93 years old and he's my friend on Facebook. No way. Yeah. <laughs> to look this beautiful sculpture is the Passion of Christ. Via Cruz is in Spanish, right? The fifth thing is special, the Passion of Christ, right? And Ruben made the sculpture with his hands. Like what is the word for Vanilla? <laughs> Sweet. Gracias. No, for any people with white skin, all people call gringo, right? But it's very offensive for the Euro people, right? Or Canadian people, right? Exactly. It's, in, it's not in a bad way, right? <laughs> This is my cafe bar in the story town in El Salvador. Um, I am a tour guide. Uh, it will be a pleasure to show my city. This is a beautiful chaos, you know. It's a wonderful place. You can find bar, uh, palace, um, beautiful shoes, modern art, coffee, beer, food, and me. <laughs> your friend, especially in the story downtown. I rock here, I really love this place.
so happy but so nervous. I'm taking the bus from El Salvador, San Salvador, El Salvador, to um, Guatemala City. And this is what the bus looks like. It's pretty nice. It's a double decker. It's comfortable, nice seats. I think these go back. I don't know, I just got on, but I'm pretty sure. Oh there's like nobody on this bus I'll be able to relax it's a um, four and a half hour ride but most people are telling me to expect between like six and seven hours it's 4 p.m. right now so honestly I'm just gonna take a nap and then when I get dropped off in Guatemala City I will only be like two or three minutes from my Airbnb <sighs> wish me luck 